Oh, come on now. Well, it'll work. So what's up guys? It is Thursday and a lot of my Midwesterns out there, just like myself, you guys are getting a cold front today, just like myself. If you guys are getting snow, drop a comment down below because I wish I was. We in Kansas have not got much, but I'm hoping we get some darn snow. It was 60 degrees, the temperatures have plummeted, and we're gonna do some good hunting this weekend. Just like I hope all you guys are gonna do also. But the reason why I opened this video here is because I have some explanations before we get into it. So, first deal with this hunt. Me and Preston found this field in the morning, late morning, like at 10, 11 o'clock, and needless to say, it is 45 minutes away from my house. So when we finally decided we were gonna hunt this field, we were like, we gotta go. It was like 12.30, we had to come back here, grab the trailer, go all the way back, so it was gonna be two hours before we got back to the field. Needless to say again, we got there extremely late, sat up extremely late. We only hunted for like an hour, an hour and 10 minutes. We didn't get fully set up until about four o'clock and shooting light at that time was around 524. Another massive problem that we had with this hunt is specs were closed during this time. They're still closed here where I'm at in Kansas. So there was a lot of, hey, is that a spec? Hey, don't shoot that bird. Hey, that's a spec, don't shoot that bird. So needless to say, we had to have our eyes through the sky and really checking out the birds so we didn't make a mistake and shoot a speck. But guys, real quick, I want to show you our new hoodies. This is the new camo here that we have on hoodies. It's called Shape Shift, and let me tell you, this sucker looks sweet. It's a darker camo, so you know your boy's going to be wearing this during turkey season. If you guys want to pick up one of these Shape Shift camo ducks hoodies, the link will be in the description below. Go pick one up. Let's get into the hunt. You ready to do this? Let's go kill some chickens, boys. Yo, yo, yo! What's up, guys? We're back out here in a cut cornfield. This field has been dissed up. A lot of dirt showing. You know what I'm wearing, so you know what we're doing. We're sitting out a big old white spread yet again. I want to replicate that last snow goose hunt so badly. Today it's a lot warmer. Right now it's sitting at about 38, 40 degrees, but we have a lot of sunshine. That's what you need in these white spreads because it makes that white pop. So we're gonna get sitting up here. Gotta get busy, got a bunch to do. The birds are gonna be up here extremely soon. Let's freaking go. Dang, that's a good looking hoodie. Oh boys, we uh, we are here, we are live. The first group is checking us out. I didn't get to vlog hardly any of it because we, la we literally sat 1,500 decoys in a matter of 30 to 45 minutes. I'm sweating. We got a group on the way. Let's get them, boys. It's just the first ones, boys. It'll. That's just the darks. The snow, the snows haven't seen us yet. And they were about 20. They were going to do it. Over. Suicidal sink. Oh, ho, ho. Kill him. Oh. That boy, I didn't even shoot. And he was dead before I got to him. They got there. A little tiny little baby snow goose. Good Lord, he's tiny. He's smaller than on him. He's smaller than most greenheads. Hey, these, oh yeah, look, wait for the, or these two, two, is that a, is that a speck? Don't shoot a speck. Do not shoot that bird. You're right. What, what, what is it? I don't know. <clears throat> Just, Just make sure before you shoot, you make sure it's not a speck. Oh, here we go. They are here. Let's see if they like it or not. We just need them to start spinning. Start spinning. Snow's on the left. Shoot him! Oh, oh God! Wow! Jesus! Wow! Dude, he about took us out, man. <laughs> Two more on the left, boys. Two more on the left. Well, the little groups are wanting to do it. Oh, look at these low three. Kill them. Oh. Woo! Two of them. Hey, what's 
Yeah! Dude, they, I don't think they were going to turn in. I didn't either. Hey, that's why we shoot big shot sizes out here. Woo! Man, they were out there a little ways, but they were not going to turn in. I think they were going to keep going. Are those all white? Yes. Get ready. Get ready, boys. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get here, get here, get here. Get here, get here. Shoot him! Yeah, buddy. Four down there. Nice. Yeah, buddy. What did we get? Two? Four. We, oh, we dropped two out back. We got four down out of them, boys. It's a snow. Nice. All right. Go. Up. Go up. No kill. There we go. And that is it. I know, short hunt, but we still banged him out. At the end, I didn't get to vlog Harley, I didn't get to vlog the setup, I didn't get to give you many tips or how-tos during this thing. All I made clear was don't shoot specs. So if there's anything to take from this video, watch for falling geese, and two, don't shoot a bird out of season. Always be conscious and be like, no, 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 yes, 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 no, no, no. Even if you're not sure, don't pull the trigger. But if specs or something have been close in your area and you've been having trouble like this, like I did, having to call a shot, no, don't shoot that, yes, shoot that, let me know down below and let me know what's been going on. But I didn't even get to vlog the pile. By the time I walked and got the truck, you see me pull the truck in on that time lapse, it was dark 30 and your boy didn't want to break out the camera and have to put on some lighting and worry about the whole nine yards, so I just decided to close it here. But it was a really good hunt. You know how snow goose hunting goes. A lot of times, they're not going to decoy in your face. They're going to take a lot of high shots. That's what that white spread does. It attracts a bunch of attention. They usually come close, they don't like it, and you shoot them. If you guys haven't been snow goose hunting, that's the way it goes. I've had a lot of you guys comment and be like, Bobby, you're sky busting. You're not a sky buster. You know what? You're right. But in snow goose hunting, I am a sky buster. But every snow goose hunt, you're not going to have those big spins. You're not going to have them decoying in your face so pretty and perfect. You got to take your shots. All in all, it was a good hunt. We shot 20 birds. We shot 15 snows and 5 lessers. So not a bad hunt for literally slapping it together at the last second. I literally got sat down and got my gun loaded when we had that first single come in. If that tells you anything. So we were hard pressed for time but we made it happen. On a different note, you guys have been wanting the how to build and set massive snow goose spreads. And believe me, be looking out because it's coming. It should be up tomorrow for Foul Friday. But if you haven't, guys, go check out the new hoodie, that Shapeshift Camo. It's got some greens. It's got a little bit of yellow and gold and some dark browns and grays. It is really neat. I think it is really cool and different. Almost got a digital look to it. And guys, if you haven't, go pick up an early riser ducks hat. Both will be linked in the description below. Go check them out. Because you guys know every purchase that you guys make from ducks goes directly to helping me at the channel create more content, create more videos, and keep hunting for you guys. Pumping out them how-tos and teaching y'all how to get dirty in the field. But if you guys like this video, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. Yeah. Guala, 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 guala. I'm living like it's no tomorrow. Don't know my style, won't let you borrow. You're thirsty, have a glass of water. I'm killing these beasts, I'll be more dead. I put my